first of all uh, i would like to thank the entire team for having us over here uh, we were really excited and looking at the presentations that happened and the kind of talent and the energy and enthusiasm that everyone in this group has uh, i think so that it is a wonderful wonderful platform and thank you so much for having us over here uh, so today uh, along with me preeti i have bhagya who is also from my tcs go it team and we we would be taking you through one of a very very uh, what and what can i say it is a, a very innovative program something which is very new and i'm sure it was uh, it is something that will be liked by all of you so the name of this program as you can see on this screen is go it okay so it's go who is written in blue and the it which is written in green so you can understand exactly what this program does but there is much much more to it and i would like to take you through next slides which will explain this program in detail so go it is a program of tata consultancy services to empower digital social innovators of tomorrow i'll quickly go to the next slide go it is a tcs flagship stem program we already heard about stem in the previous session and it's science technology engineering and mathematics program and this program is to empower school students to become digital social innovators okay so it is digital it is social and it is innovators these three are some heavy words but they are very very powerful how are we going to do it we are going to use the concepts of design thinking and technology to solve problems the vision of this program is to strengthen the communities today by empowering digital social innovators of tomorrow so there are some nice pictures that you can see popping up on the screen that gives you an idea of what the program is about and how the children are enjoying it so going into some more details about this program so it is a modularized content which allows flexibility scalability and open access to all learners it's a curriculum which is ready which is free for all the users and it is 6 hours to 20 hours of curriculum if you just see below that the, it is deployed for students from first standard onwards so now you will say that priti how can one program fit for all these students so the curriculum is such that we have designed the curriculum that it can suit to different age groups and it can be customized for different age groups with the elder children taking uh, the concepts of mobile app and devising solutions using mobile app it also incorporates the 21st century skills uh, some of the skills to be mentioned problem solving obviously along with design thinking creativity innovation and if you can see it's tcs and client mentors over there so when i was a kid i loved uh, going to my father's office and you know meeting some of the seniors and they were actually like kind of teachers also for me i always loved taking guidance from them and uh, we really feel that the students are very happy when they interact with uh, the tcs and the client mentors and they look up to uh, them and they learn a lot from them so that is where we have brought in this picture also that we give for our students whatever the solutions that the children will develop um, those are directly tied to the un sustainable development goals so there are six modules in this program and after the completion they get a certificate from tcs so now let's take up a poll um i would request arun to please help me in this and you all will be getting a poll on your window i would request everyone to please answer that poll yeah preeti i'm helping you sonia here yeah thank you so the first question that must have been popped up on your screen are you aware about design thinking so we can take a minute and then answer this question
are you aware about design thinking? Let's give some exercise to our fingers as well as our brains when we give this poll. So once the poll is over, I would need some help from you in displaying the result. Should I end the poll? Yes. Okay, great. Preeti, can you see the results? Um, no, it's yet to pop up. Yes, I can see it now. Yeah, great. So the percentage is um, to read out, it's 26.7% of the teachers and the audience over here say that, yes, I practice it in my classroom, which is really good. And 73.9% of them say that no, and they would like to hear more about it. So it's very true. And uh, to be honest, design thinking was very new for me also. When I learned more about it, I understood it's a wonderful, wonderful way to solve problems. Uh, to solve complex problems. And once we go into the details of this program, you will understand how this program uses the concepts of design thinking to solve the problems. So with this, uh, I would like to go to the next poll. Again, some exercise for your fingers. Do you know about the UN Sustainable Development Goals? So this is the next poll that will pop up on your window. Do you know about the UN Sustainable Development Goals? So if you know some of the goals, I will suggest that you can go for the answer somewhat. If you know all the goals that are there, you can go for yes or it's a no. I can see a chat that says all goals, that's excellent. I guess we can end the poll. poll now. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Is he can you so, yeah. yes. So twenty five percent said yes. That's really good. And I'm assuming this yes is for all the goals that are present. 53% said no, and 21% said somewhat. So that's, that's good. So uh, this is also a very good point that I wanted to bring out in this poll. And now the last question, would your students like to design mobile apps to solve problems? This is the last poll. So the last exercise for your fingers. And I'm really happy to see that in the responses, we are getting some of the SDGs that are there. So that's really nice. Thank you. Would your students like to design mobile apps to solve problems. There is one question, where is the poll site that I can see in the chat? Uh, I guess it's a pop up that you can all see on the screen.
I guess we can end the chat. End we can end the yeah. poll. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's a wonderful answer. So 69% of the audience over here said that yes, they would like to use mobile apps to solve the problems. 10% said no, obviously everybody would be having some of the restrictions and so on. And 20% said somewhat. So that's, that's really a really nice response. Uh, thank you, Sonia, and uh, for coordinating. And with this, um, I would like to take you through the goals of the GoIT program. Uh, even in the earlier session, even now, I remember Nanda, Kumar, Nanda Kishore had also said about sparking the curiosity among the children. And yes, children are very curious. And that is why it's very important that we have to make uh, the students develop this curiosity. Rather develop, I will say, bring out the curiosity that is there in them. Uh, many of the students uh, feel that computer science, computer skills is something that, you know, it's very difficult. Uh, it's, they, they will not be able to do it in the right way, but that's not true. So we all try to ensure through this program that they have a wonderful, wonderful time with us and they really enjoy it. Uh, they develop the skills slowly uh, along with them being comfortable and enjoying. Uh, as mentioned earlier, yes, they meet the industry experts, they have mentors from the industry, I want to guide them throughout. They have a place where they can share their ideas, they can share what they have thought about, uh, they can develop certain models, and with the help of the skills, they develop solutions, and they also come and present these solutions. So uh, while presenting, yes, it does help in building the confidence we do guide them on how a presentation has to be done. Uh, and then with this, we come to the end of the program where they come and they pitch in what they have done. So I would like to go uh, to this slide and I would like to spend more time on this slide so that we get a fair idea of what the GoIT program does. So as mentioned earlier, there are six modules that are there for this program. Uh, the content is customized for different age groups so that every child will have a wonderful, enjoyable experience going through this program. And the first module talks about STEM and computer science. So over here also, since they are children and we know they are super creative and super innovative, uh, we give them, we teach them STEM with the help of certain examples where they can actually practice STEM and understand how these four departments are related to each other. Obviously, there is computer science and how computer science can be used in our day-to-day -day life. That is what this module speaks about. Second module, a very interesting module is about design thinking. Now for the children, the term design thinking might be for them, they think it's only creativity. And uh, to be honest, when they understand this, the kind of solutions or the kind of inputs that they have given were tremendous. So we walk them through the stages of design thinking and we all say that empathy is the heart of design thinking so for students uh, why they like this module the most is that they themselves identify the problems they feel empathetic towards a particular problem and this is not what we teach them this is what they develop they understand and once we just explain it to them they say that yes this is what i have felt so they themselves understand the problems and then they feel that, no, I want to solve this problem. So that is where the children enjoy this module. Module three is where they identify the uh, problem in the community. And this is where uh, one of the poll questions that I had asked for was uh, the SDGs. So we uh, give them an idea about the SDGs that are there and they will identify a problem in the community which they see and then that one problem is the problem that they would like to solve. Over here, the students are free to choose their problems, uh, whatever problem they feel they want to solve. And that is where they come in with a lot of creativity. We also give them a basic idea about innovation. And yes, there are certain games which are there in this entire course, which they do, where they innovate and then they enjoy, uh, understand how creativity and innovation comes together. 
module four speaks about visualization so it's ui ux uh, user experience user interface wireframing and storyboarding and uh, this is one exercise where we also speak about children uh, using their visualization methods, colors, uh, we, we talk about STEM and then it is STEAM where the arts part is there. So over here, we speak about using colors, uh, crayons, sketch pens, whatever they want to, and they become creative and they visualize what will be the solution to the problem. Module five uh, is where they go for the app development. And this is where they develop a mobile app for the problem that they have identified and then they come and pitch their concept in module six so if you understand how all these modules are linked to each other is that uh, the students are empowered that they solve the problems that they see in the communities they will have an idea about stem they will have an idea about computer science they will use design thinking to solve the social problems they learn visualization methods uh, which we feel is very be important before directly coming to the solution they should understand have a fair idea of how the solution looks like so that's the visualization part they also use technology to solve the problem so in this case the technology that they are using uh, will be they will be developing mobile apps and obviously they once they pitch in and they are comfortable they cover all these five modules they speak they interact with the industry experts they gain their confidence and enhance the presentation skills and obviously the favorite part for the students is where they interact with the industry experts and uh, they understand and they share their ideas. Okay, so what will you like about GoIT? So this system that I have shown on the left hand side where it's TCS community and school. So this is a program which is a combination of TCS, the organization, community, because we are solving the problems in the community with the help of schools, with the help of school children. So what GoIT has to offer is that we give insights about STEM design thinking, how to apply design thinking to innovate and solve social problems in the community. Discovering new visualization methods such as creating wire frames and storyboards. Uh, children have heard wire children have heard frame story and boards that is what the children tell tell us every time when we ask them have you used this word but they are not aware of wire frames and storyboards the two words so then we teach them how they can understand and how they can visualize the problem uh, solution to the problem using these methods uh, teachers can also explore new ways of using technology uh, to design the solutions to the problem so right now mobile applications they can develop uh, this program empowers teachers with additional tools to increase student engagement by amplifying students voices on topics students are most passionate about so over here when we did this program for certain students across and we found that there are certain topics that a student would like uh, to develop more interest in might be this environment, might be this education. So what teachers can do is that once they understand there is one topic which the student is most passionate about, the student has understood that this is the problem that they want to solve, the teachers can use these tools to solve those problems. And obviously, since we are there, so along with us, uh, we'll be calling different industry experts and then we can have access to industry experts in your classrooms. So this is where uh, there'll be talks by different experts across the industry and they will give insights to the students about latest technology and few more parts. So this was an overview about uh, the GoID program. If you are interested, if you want to know more, I understand that since it's, an, uh, it's, a, it's, it's a virtual conference right now, so we won't be able to solve much of the problems or much of the questions that come up during this session. Yes, we would surely meet you again um, uh, at five o'clock, I guess. And uh, till then, if you have any questions, anything that you want to know more about this program, you can get in touch with me and Bhagya. I will take a minute and you can write down our email ID. So these are our TCS official email IDs. You can drop a mail to us to know more about this program. So I'll pause over here for a minute. If you want to make a note of the email IDs, please do that.
I believe Bhakya has also pinged in the chat window. If you can simply copy paste the IDs, you can do that too. Thank you, Bhakya, for pinging in. And with this, uh, we thank you all for having us over here. Thank you for patiently listening to this program. Uh, this program is really very exciting, very close to us, very close to our organization. And we have seen it uh, impacting the students in a very positive way, students and the communities in a very positive way. So thank you, uh, Whipple and team, for having us over here. And thank you all. And please get in touch with us if you need to know more about this program. Thank you.